Hi, I'm Chris Barker. We're here at NAM 2012 on the Akai stand and we're looking at the uh, brand new range of NPCs, <coughs> starting with the uh, NPC Studio. Um, so tell us about some of the features what you know, and this brand new product. The whole, the whole mission of the studio and the Renaissance are to bring the NPC workflow and sound back to the computer environment. We all have to use computer-based sequencing now. It's just part of making music these days. But what we're missing, what we don't get with generic MIDI controllers, is the the workflow that made a Kai and the MPC line successful. And so, what we've done is we've come out with a, with a pair of control surfaces and a uh, and a matching software set that help you have the original MPC workflow and and sound quality that you that you just can't get running with a standard DAW. So the software is going to launch as a VST audio units or RTAS plugin in any DAW that you have now. It comes with an 8 gigabyte, eight gigabyte sound library uh, that, that includes all of the classic sounds from the original MPCs, plus a whole lot more, plus a lot of the um, extra sound libraries we used to sell separately. So a huge, a huge asset right there. The complete, they're completely the same as the original. So right. This unit's really portable and it's about an inch high. Touch sensitive control surfaces. You have uh, four banks of these four knobs here that you can cycle through. The pads light up in multiple colors. Classic MBC pads, excellent sensitivity. The, the screen experience with the studio and the Renaissance is identical as well. And so you could, you could really accomplish, you know, it's familiar to any MBC user right away. You could accomplish your entire sequence just looking here, but the screen also gives you um, great assets when it comes to uh, time stretching. Uh, um, slicing is really, really easy. Um, same with drag and drop pad assignment. Um, loading up plugins, you can, uh, if you have favorite VST, favorite VST uh, compressors, limiters that you want to use in here on your pads, you can do that as well. So not only is it a VST in your dot, you can use your VSTs or audio units in here as well. Hi, so we're here uh, back on the Akai stand and Andy's going to take us through some of the features of the MPC studio. Um, so, I'll hand it over to Andy. Right, hi there. Right, okay, so what we've done, we've integrated everything, all the classic features that everybody is, has known for since 1988 across the whole MPC range. Um, and that integrates seamlessly with, with the control surface here. So anything that you do on here is replicated on the software. So we obviously, we've got the 16 pads, we have, we have our bank programs here, so we can access eight banks now, where it used to be four. Each bank will hold 16 samples. We can go through our 16 levels. We can do our full levels for when we're humanizing all of our hi-hats. We have our note repeat over here. We have our classic erase button, so when the sequence run in, you can just physically hold the pad and erase the feature. Um, tap tempo, have the cursor, and everything is replicated, like I said, in the software. Um, now, some of the features that are in the software, which are also on the LCD screen, um, are things like when we go into our program edit, you can see that there's a four there's a four zone layer. Now, this came about when the 4000 was re released, where you could you could layer up to four samples per pad. Um, you can also use the traditional way of simultaneous triggering, so you can have four samples triggered from one pad or trigger another four pads on top of that so you can have a massive amount of layering going on um, and then adding to that on the right hand side here we have um, pad insert now what pad insert will do if you are creating your own kicks and snares and say we've got three three kicks layered we have a top mid and a low we can then take a UAD EQ or a compressor we can insert that onto that one pad so we can put up to four uh, different types of AU, RSTS, or um, audio units, uh, VSTs, whatever, onto that pad. Um, and you can do that on every single pad. Or you can go into program mix, and you can, s you can assign like a bus compressor. So if you've got the Abbey Road stuff, whatever you want, you can bus up the whole drum track from that section. Um, so that kind of integration is really what so many people have been waiting for. And to have it in a... You know, you can run this standalone or as a, as a VST or an AU inside Logic as well, or Cubase. Um, so that's, you know, that's some of the key features. Um, you know, about import and export options. Import, that's really cool, very simple. If we, if we finished our beat, we can then go to export. I might still have a 2500 or a 5000 that I'm using. I can import everything I've done as that program. Um, or 
we can take it out as an um, as an audio mix, as a stereo bounce or as individual tracks. So if I've run 24 individual tracks, I have 24 channels. Um, you've got different file formats, so MP3, AIFF, WAV, different bit rates, different sample rates. Um, and if, if you've got compressors and EQs on, obviously if you bypass them, they'll be untreated, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so you can kind of see how we've integrated the workflow into the technology world that everybody wanted. And um, do you know the UK retail price? For this yeah. is 399. Okay, and available end of the summer, I um, You know, I think we're gonna confirm availability in the next couple of weeks, okay. when that's gonna be, you know, that's when it's gonna be available, yeah, but it's gonna be very soon, very soon. But it was very important for us to show the product at this NAM show, you know, to get customer feedback, you know, and we, we've, we've got some great things happening with these products. So yeah, they're gonna be hitting the market real soon.